It's 10 o'clock a.m. and that means that the thrift store just opened. I live in a pretty small town and there's not a whole lot here, but there is one thrift store. And the great thing about this thrift store is it's not like a chain thrift store like Value Village. It's just run out of a church. all of the clothes is only two dollars so mom was gonna get some new costumes wardrobe um affordable the downside is that their selection kind of sucks and it's pretty small but i'm not going there looking for like real clothes to wear i'm usually looking for like weird stuff that people actually do get rid of so it's a really good deal to get like weird dresses and things Specifically today, I'm looking for warmer options. It's freaking cold. It's November. I want to do some outside photos, but I need some layers. So that's what I'm going to look for today. This is one of the sweaters that I got today. I really liked the color. I liked the stripes. I don't usually do patterns, but it's pretty simple and bold, which is nice. And this is an oversized sweater. And one of the things that I really love about oversized sweaters is that for photos, you can wear them without pants and it looks really cute. So I've done this a couple times. I don't know if anybody actually wears oversized sweaters without pants. I know that I don't. I only do it for photos. I feel a little bit ridiculous just normal, but in photos with like a mug of like hot chocolate or if you're sitting by the fireplace or something, it looks really cute and cozy. So. Um, a fall or winter self-portrait idea. Buy yourself a nice oversized sweater. Another thing that I wanna say is like, this was in the ladies section, it's clearly a women's, well, I don't know, could be gender neutral. <laughs> Anyways, I do always love to check the men's sweaters because they are typically a little bit bigger, but sweaters aren't really too gendery, like especially if it's made like this, it's not made to fit a female form, so you can get away with an oversized men's sweater and usually there are some really good ones and I've totally done that before. Talking about shopping in the men's section, this is where I totally snagged this cute flannel black and perfectly yellow shirt. This is a men's small but it fits me really great and I love it. And this shirt goes really great with the pants that I found which are like this mustard color and I've been obsessed with all season. I don't know about you guys, but I go through like weird clothing color cycles where I just wanna buy one particular color and it's this, this right here. I kinda match my side table a little bit. You can't see me. I got this for photos. I thought it would be a really cute fall look if I was doing fall photos or um, some kind of fall themed book cover stuff. Um, I wouldn't normally, oh, shit, I don't do that. I also snaked this super cute orange sweater. So today I was looking for fall colors and textures and coziness. And I think I totally achieved that with this whole outfit. Um, now that I have this sweater over top, I can see like, you can see a little bit of the buttons and that, that I'm wearing layers, but I can Photoshop that out if I needed to. It's okay. So overall, I think this is a cute little fall outfit that I could wear for fall photos. This shirt is another great example of texture. Sweaters have brilliant texture. I love the knit look, but this has got just these like little fuzzy dots on it. So this has really beautiful texture too. I love this color. This is actually my favorite color, green. If you can tell by all the branding that I chose to do. So that's all the photo clothes that I got from the thrift store today. I did snag a couple of $2 winter jackets for my kids. So can't go wrong there. Sorry, Luna, nothing for you. Oh, there was a really creepy lamp. Do you want that? Maybe. I didn't find any props today, but I always check out the furniture section and the like houseware section. Sometimes there's really neat like cups or clocks or 
decor. Um, I'm looking at one right now. I've totally used this in a photo before and this was a key that was 50 cents. I still got the sticker on it um, that I got from that exact same thrift shop. I do not buy the used underwear, but checking out the 90s is actually a really great place to look. Sometimes there's so like flowy robes and those are great for throwing fabric in the photo. Thanks for checking out my thrift haul today. Subscribe to stay up to date on all of the things I'm creating. And if this is the sort of thing that you like to see, drop a comment so that I know to make more thrift store and wardrobe and prop related videos for you because I'm thrifting all the time and totally share all of it. Have a great day.